Hi guys, it's Dr. G and welcome to our little series on rockets. So we're going to start off with a very simple rocket using a tea bag. Some of you would have seen it. So here's our little take on uh, the tea bag rocket. So we're just going to take a very simple tea bag, just chop off the top and bottom simultaneously and get rid of the tea itself. Well, of, of course the tea can still be used. And uh, yeah, and we have a very simple propulsion system using warm air so all you're doing is just basically lighting these up and if you believe in science then you'll have your rockets whizzing off um, into space above your head for a short little distance all right so we all believe that warm air rises we know that and essentially we have a small little propulsion system so now in life you go big or you go home so that was a minuscule effect and now what we want to do is basically use some methanol and start propelling um, um, methanol rockets or a simple um, soda bottle but before I do that I just want to illustrate or demonstrate to you the power behind lighting methanol in a confined space so you have a nice big water bottle here which is pretty empty and in that I'm going to throw in some methanol again not too sure of the volumes involved here so thumb suck just a few squirts like this if you're really not sure what's going to happen put your neighbors out try this experiment see the trick is you want lots of vapor in there not too much of liquid so that's the idea and uh, shake that up as the methanol vaporizes inside the bottle, pulls it up with a nice vapor, and that's the thing we want to ignite. So, and uh, all goes well. And we the light, and that's basically the ignition beyond that, right? It's a nice big pressure difference, and uh, yeah. So that was a nice big bottle, but how about propelling a, a two liter soda bottle using the same effect? And uh, here we have it. It's a little hole cut out of the top. You don't want to spend too much time on the geometry of the hole, or also the dimensions of the hole, right? Just a thumb suck using a pair of scissors. Stick a hole at the top of a bottle. Again, the volume itself, not going to be too constipated in calculating the volume of methanol to the two liter. But what we want, the important thing is the liquid inside this bottle. That's what's going to propel this thing. The idea is never to point your rockets towards your audience or your spectators. Always in a safe environment as well, preferably in an open area, open space. And uh, try not to use your hand or your friend's hand as a nice homemade launcher itself, which launches horizontally. And so if all goes well, then you want the light, and hopefully we should go. Like that. Very nice. And there we have a two liter bottle like that. You could use other means of launching these soda sort of bottles. A water rocket would be a great one using a bicycle pump and water with compressed air. Lots of fun, but always remember be safe, respect your experiments, and all will be fine. Thank you and enjoy.